Hey boys and girls, for the Eric Carl book today, I found a video that someone made of a very quiet cricket. So watch and then we will discuss. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Are you hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower the little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened not a sound
Good evening, whirred a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A lunar moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Great story, huh? So a lot of the Eric Carle books we know have something a little bit extra. Not all the books, right? Well, this book I remember checking out from the library lots of years ago when I was a little girl. And I read the book, you know, I was sitting there reading the book and then I opened the last page right when the cricket started to chirp and all of a sudden the book started making noise. There was a tiny little lever in there that when you open it all the way, it started chirping. So the book made noise. That was so cool. Now, if I were to ask you, what were the important parts of the story? Um, a lot of times kids answer that with something that happened right at the end, but there are other important parts, not just the ending of a story. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. Maybe an important part is that the cricket couldn't make noise. That was the whole point of the book, The Quiet Cricket, right? It rubbed its wings together and it couldn't make noise. That's a very important part right away. I think another important part was meeting the different animals along the way. Another important part of the story is at the end when he bumped into that other cricket and finally made noise. Now I've talked about fiction and nonfiction with some kids. Fiction is kind of a made up story. It could be realistic fiction. It could be something totally fantasy and made up. Um, and then there's nonfiction, which is information, something real that actually happened. So if we think about this book, Yes, there are crickets. Yes, crickets make noise. There are praying mantises and spittle bugs and all of that. And they all do those things that they talk about in the book. But this particular cricket was invented by Eric Carle. He made up that cricket. Yes, there are crickets in the world, but there probably isn't that exact cricket Eric Carle is talking about. So this book is fiction. Also, bugs don't really talk to each other, right? Is there something that maybe you learned or maybe someone could learn from reading this book? I think what was pretty cool is that you might learn that crickets make noise by doing a certain things, certain thing with their bodies. You might learn about a little bit about each of those little bugs that the cricket met along the way, like what the praying mantis can do with its body or what the spittle bug does with the foam. That was interesting. Or the bumblebee and how it is going along to the flowers and buzzing around. And so there was just a little bit of information about each of those bugs that somebody could learn by reading the book. All right, boys and girls, thank you for reading and learning with me. I will catch you later. Bye.